Hi Sakai Engineering Graphics and Design Grade 12 learners let's continue with our Sakai pet and uh, we are going to unfold and unpack some of the details so that we can formulate our designs so if you take this document and you unpack this document I'm going to speak about a few very important uh, facts that's highlighted in the practical assessment task so it says here that this is a small medical center and it will be referred to as the center in this project. So it has to be a single story brick structure and it has to include a two meter wide front porch. And then also we need to have a total area that does not exceed more than 120 square meters. The entire center and all its facilities must be disability friendly. And all of this information you have listed in your specifications. So let us look at the details of design. So if you look at your design, and I'm going to open up and discussing the medical center, the first thing that we need to understand that we need to have a total area which should not exceed 120 meters square. And that's very important to understand. So if you look at the different venues, and we're going to unpack the venues, each one, here we are going to have the reception area and it's stated there that the reception area has to be between 20 and 25 meter squares. So if you break that up and you get to a rectangular shape, you will have a 4 by 5 meter rectangular shape which will give you 20 meter square. And we're going to use the 4 by 5 as a combination for our reception area. Then further we continue with our kitchen area. The kitchen area has to be between 10 and 12 meters square. If we break that up, we will have a 4 by 3 rectangular shape. And that will serve as the dimension of the kitchen area. What you are significantly at this point picking up that that side is 4 and that side is 4. We can link those two sides. We continue with venue number 3, which is CR1. This is the consulting room 1, which we're looking at. And that consulting room 1 should not be larger than 13 meters square. So, a lot of these things should not be larger than that. So, it can be smaller, but not exceeding that amount. So, if you break 13 up into two perfect numbers, you will find that the one side is 3 and the other one is 4, which gives you 12 meters square. And that is within the 13 meter square space. If we look at our CR2 consulting room 2, you will find that the floor area should not be larger than 10 meters square. And we are going to use a 3 by 3 combination, which will give us 9 meters square. And that is within the range of 10 meters square. If you look at consulting room 3, it states clearly in the document, it, that it should not be larger than 14 meters square. And if you break up 14 meters square, we're going to have 3 and 4. And that's going to leave you with 12 meters square, still within the space of 14 meters square. At this very moment, you have picked up that all these sides are 3. So we can actually connect all of them and put them adjacent to one another. If we go to our bathrooms for... First, we have our girls' bathroom, and it states clearly that it should not exceed 11 meters square. So, with 11 meters, we can work within a space of 3 by 3, and that will give you a perfect bathroom size. 3 by 3 giving you 9 meters square, still within the 11 meters square. And finally, we have our boys' bathroom, which states clearly it should not exceed 9 meters square. In fact, these two bathrooms we are going to just duplicate. Now, there are specific specifications around the bathroom, which we will look at a little bit later. If you turn and zoom in, what we can do with those different components and rooms, we can put them together. So, I have taken the liberty of putting the girls' bathroom here and connect the three different consulting rooms, one, two, and three, because they have each a width of three meters, so I can connect them in a rectangular shape, and added to that is going to be the boys' bathroom. So I've got a balance 
boys bathroom girls bathroom and all the consulting rooms here and they will be accessed through a passage which will be in front of each of the different rooms so you will find that that's three meters four meters three meters four meters and that's three meters there which will amount to 17 meters that we have as a total length so that is the the one part and then attached to that it states clearly that your shape of your center your medical center should either take the form of a T in this case we're going to have a T or it should be an L shape so for design number one we're going to look at a T and maybe design number two we will look at an L shape so we will make minor adjustments to get us to design number two so right in front of the entire section here we, we will have our reception area which is a four by five that's a bigger space that is where people are going to enter and adjacent to that we're going to have our kitchen where staff will be able to utilize that space and then in front of the building we're going to have a porch of two meters in width and that will be the area where people will enter into the reception area. Alongside the building, we need to create space for 10 standard parking and 5 disabled parking bays. So we will find the disabled parking bays right in front here, perhaps, 5 of them. And next to them, we will add the normal standard parking and have some parking on this side as well. So that could be your design number one if you flip over and we go to design number two we're going to find that this part is just moved to the end so that that forms an L shape our parking can move with our building so we will have parking on this side parking in front and parking along this side as well which will make up our, our 10 standard parking bays and five disabled parking bays once again we will enter from this side here through a sliding door onto the porch into the reception area where we will access all those different venues from the reception area so the staff can access from their respective rooms the kitchen through the passage area if we look at um, our roof line if we flip over and we look at our roof line as one of the specifications so clearly in the specifications it states that you need to make use of a hip and valley roof so and they give you examples of those hip and valley roofs so if this is your structure the orange indicate how the hip and valley roof will be so you will find that there is an overhang of the t-shape on each of the sides and then it slants on the corners it slants in on the corners there is the apex here and those are the three hips and that forms the valley which is the connection at 90 degrees connection and the same will apply should you choose this option that there will be two hips here and a valley on this side and a hip on that side which connects at a 45 degree angle if we flip around and we look at our bathroom breakdown you will find that in the girls bathroom there must be two cubicles with doors so if you have a three meter width here you will have a bathroom of 1.5 meters in width both of them will be both bathrooms will be 1.5 meters in width both will have doors there will be a water closet in each one one specific window in the center one window in the center there should be one wash basin and that is where you're going to enter the bathroom from the passage if you look at the boys bathroom you should have one cubicle which is 1.5 meters if this is a three meter span there will be one door adjacent to that you are going to find one urinal there will be one single window and you will have one wash basin in your boys bathroom as well and that is where you're going to access the boys bathroom from the passage so those are your two designs which we're going to be looking at grade 12s i'm going to show you how to take 
this particular design, which is your design one, into a formal design by using the grid paper and allowing a scale of 1 is to 50. And 1 is to 50 means that two blocks equates to 1 meter. So if you have 1 meter, you're going to have a double block. And if your length is going to be 17 meters, you will have 34 blocks. So every time you will have to double up on the meters which you are going to be having in your design. So if you look at this, that's going to be 6, that's going to be 8, that's going to be 6, 8, 6, 6 here, that's going to be 4, that's going to be 8, that's going to be 6, that's going to be 10, and that is going to be 8 as well. And you will have the standard parking bays, of which a parking bay is 4 meters in length, and it is 2.5 meters in width. Let's transform this into a formal design one. And then of course using that as an example, you must be able to complete design number two as well. Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.